Father, um, not long ago, yes. somebody sent me, and I, I'm kicking myself six ways from Sunday. Yes. Uh, somebody sent me what they said was the third secret of Fatima. Yes. I actually read it on the air, and then I somehow lost it. If anybody out there has it, please resend it to me. Now, it's my understanding that you have taken a vow of silence or secrecy. Uh, you have read the third secret. It was shared with you. Is that correct? It was given to me to read, yes. yes. One mm -hmm. morning early in February 1960, and, of course, before I got it, I had to take up this simple oath you always take, of maintaining the secret. So the details of it I cannot communicate. If, I mean, the, the actual verbiage and expressions. Yes. If um, if this third secret of Fatima were made public, yes. could it be the shock that the public, that the church needs? It could be. And that is one reason why it's not published and why it's sunk into a limbo, out of which it's not going to come easily. It would be a shock. There's no doubt about that. Uh, it, it would affect people in different ways, though, Art. Um, some people would, on being told that this was authentically the third secret of Fatima, mm -hmm. they would get extremely angry. Oh, I understand. Believe me. Very I, angry. Oh, believe me, I understand, Father. Stand by, and we'll get back to you after the bottom of the hour break. If... When we come back, I will ask Father Martin, as much as we're able to, about the third secret. It certainly would be a shock. I'm Art Bell. This is Coast to Coast AM. All right, here we go. Uh, and I really want to thank the person that transcribed this for me. The following is a transcription of what is possibly the third secret of Fatima, as read by Art Bell over the air on Coast to Coast AM on 5-1498 at 34 minutes and 48 seconds into the program. And I began it uh, with this preamble, all right, I in no way warrant the following as being authentic. I have no way of knowing. All I can tell you is it feels real. It is alleged to be the third secret of Fatima. You decide for yourself. Here we go. A great plague will befall mankind. Nowhere in the world will there be order. Satan will rule the highest places, determining the way of things. He will succeed in seducing the spirits of the great scientists who invent arms with which it will be possible to destroy a large part of humanity in a few minutes. Satan will have his power. The powerful who command the people and who will incite them to produce enormous quantities of arms. God will punish man more thoroughly than with the flood. There will come the time of all times, and the end of all ends. The great and powerful will perish together with the small and weak. Even for the church, it will be the time of its greatest trial. Cardinals will oppose cardinals, bishops will oppose bishops. Satan will walk among them, and in Rome there will be changes. The church will be darkened, and the world will be shaking with terror. One great war will erupt in the second half of the 20th century. Fire and smoke will fall from the sky. The waters of the oceans will change into steam, and the steam will rise and overflow everything. The waters of the ocean will become mist. Millions and millions of people will die from hour to hour. Whoever remains alive will envy the dead. Everywhere one turns, one's glance, there will be, um, uh, there is going to be anguish and misery, ruins in every country. The time draws nearer. The abyss widens without hope. The good to perish with the bad the great with the small, the princes of the church with the faithful, the rulers with their people. There will be death everywhere because of the errors committed by non-believers and crazy followers of Satan, which will then, and only then, take control over the world. At the last, those who survive will at every chance newly proclaim God and His glory, 
and they will serve him as when the world was not so perverted. That's it. Father Martin? Yes, Art. Any comments on that? I have listened to that. Um, and I suppose the, the, the measured response I should give to it is this, um, in two parts, really, two statements. It is not the text which was given to me to read okay. in 1960. There are elements in it which belong in the text. So, uh, in other words, uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying to step as carefully as I can. In other words, uh, you're suggesting this is not precisely what you have, but there are elements of what you just heard. Yes, there are elements which uh, do belong in the third secret. Um, that's, that's about the most measured response I could give to it. I am, okay, that's fine, and I, I will not ask you to say more, uh, yes. but it, bearing in mind what I just read, yes. would you consider the third secret to be as traumatic as is suggested in what I read, or more so? More so. More so. More, more so. Much, oh. more, much more so. The, the, without, again, <laughs> you know, I'm stepping very carefully. Yes, sir. Uh, the, uh, the central element in the third secret uh, is awful. And it's not in that. It's not in that. It's not in the text. No, it's not. Thank God. Um, now, I guess I would ask this. I understand that you have taken an oath. That's right. But have you considered that the shock that is required mm -hmm. to turn things around may be this very serious, and, and that it may be that um, it should be revealed? To your last sentence, my full assent, it should be revealed. But, here's my difficulty, Art. I'm one small little man. Mm -hmm. I have no public authority to do that. I do not know if that would be the will of God. And since it would have such dire effects on much more than Christians, on many others, um, I, I can't make that decision. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. I, I, I can't make that decision. I have no, I have no assurance that that's God's will. And since this is a question of His supreme will as regards the world, the human race, its existence and its continuance and its future, I, I have no authority. Father, in what manner were you shown the third secret? Because the cardinal who showed it to me had been present at a meeting held by Pope John XXIII uh, in that year, 1960, to outline to a certain number of cardinals and prelates what he thought should be done with the secret, that John the 23rd, Pope John the 23rd, then Pope in 1960, mm -hmm. uh, did not think that he should publish the secret. It would ruin his, at that time, ongoing negotiations with Nikita Khrushchev, the boss of all the Russias. Mm -hmm. And he also had a different outlook on life, which, in two years later, opening the Vatican Council, he echoed very succinctly and almost contemptuously in the middle of his speech on October 11, 1962, in St. Peter's, to the assembled bishops who had come for the Vatican Council and the visitors. The place was crowded, a huge basilica. He derided 
contemptuously. The people he called prophets of doom. Mm -hmm. And there was no doubt in any of our minds he was talking about the three prophets of Fatima. Mm -hmm. He was against that. There are those within the church mm -hmm. who minimize mm -hmm. what is uh, contained in the third secret. Absolutely. And then there are others who don't minimize it at all. They exaggerate. They exaggerate. Yes, they do. Uh, so without minimizing or without exaggerating, you're mm -hmm. telling me that what's in the third secret is more horrible than what I just read. Which oh, yes, Art, it is. Because what you have just read, uh, essentially, it is the onslaught of natural powers. Sure, Satan is walking, etc., like that, amongst men, and blah, 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 patati, patata. But essentially, it is as if nature revolted against the human race. That's essentially what, uh, through all these terrible catastrophes and chastisements. And that's not the essence of the third secret. And not the frightening one. Oof. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, it, it does beggar the imagination. Well, again, in a, in a sense, uh, it would be such a shock that I understand that you have grave reservations about it, but if it would, if it would in effect, um, right the church. Yeah, yeah. I, if it would, but you know, Art, I have no guarantee. I have no authority that would say, yes, this, the net result will be plus rather than minus. I have no authority. I have no revelation. No angel has tapped me on the shoulder. I've had no private divine dream like St. Joseph or uh, Joseph in the Old Testament had. I have no authority, and I cannot arrogate to myself uh, that authority because I may be putting my foot in my mouth, <laughs> put it in a mild fashion. Hmm. I may be uh, going ahead of the Lord, and we're supposed to walk in the words of one uh, a Roman saint, five yards behind the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. I, 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 and besides that, uh, Art, there's the question of shock, of scandal, of, of frightening people and polarizing my human society to which I belong and to which I'm happy to belong because God made me to belong to it as a member of the human race. And I cannot do that. Not, not just like that. I just can't. I wish I could, because in human calculation, yes, this will shock. This will uh, jerk people out. This will fill the confessionals on a Saturday evening. This will mm -hmm. fill up the cathedrals and the basilicas and the churches with worshippers kneeling down, striking their breath. Maybe, maybe, because at the back of it all, us, there's this regnant, reigning, as it were, Catholic truth that nothing like that can happen unless God gives the grace, and I have no authority to presume that he will give me the grace, or give the grace on the occasion of my doing anything like that. With what, uh, how much weight, Father, do you give to the uh, entire Fatima revelations? I consider it to be the key event in the declining fortune of the Roman Catholic organization and the defining event for the near future of the church in the second mille in the in the next millennium in the third millennium it's the defining event and that is why strong men a uh, strong men uh, but I mean uh, you see but when we speak about strong men the the amazing thing about the statecraft people people who practice the craft of state, like Casaroli, who's just died, or Pope John Paul II, uh, is what people always remark say about uh, great figures in history like Napoleon, like Hitler, like Stalin. They had a will of indestructible power, and they could oppose mm -hmm. the united wills of millions and make their point of view stick to a certain degree anyway, until they came 
until they fell, until they became a cropper, as we say in England. Um, similarly, in Rome, there are men with strong wills. They're in statecraft all their lives. They are engaged in macro-government, mm -hmm. not merely of religion, but in state. Uh, they're up there amongst the greats. And they will not touch this with a barge pole. Hmm. All right, Father Martin, again, referring to what I read, which you said yes. had partial um, Echoes. relevance. Yes, relevance, yes. Uh, would you imagine that the person who wrote this uh, had been privy in some way to the original yes. text? Uh, yes. yes, 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 certainly. Oh, at, least by, at least by word of mouth, if not by reading. I understand. By reading, yeah. All right, Father, uh, hold on. All right, uh, bouncing back for a second to the yes. third secret. Here's a fax from Bob in Eclaire, Wisconsin. It's kind of rough. It says, Art... Why would God give this prophecy, referring, of course, to the third secret, to a select few and instruct them not to give it to his people? It sounds to me that it is man who has decided to keep it a secret from the people and not God. Can there be any greater sin than this? Well, whoever this man is, he's on target. The secret was meant, to, was meant for the people, not for the Pope. Not for the bishops, not for the Holy Office. It was meant to be published in 1960 by explicit order, by the mandate of heaven. John the 23rd, God bless him and rest him, because he's with God now, in whatever form that is, he decided not to. He had his own reasons. We think with all due respect and veneration, etc., 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 that he made a very bad mistake. And indeed, what probably your correspondent from Wisconsin doesn't realize, or perhaps he does, let me remind him, that in 1963, there was a second appearance, this time in Spain, in Garabandal. And the opening words of that revelation were, because my sons have not listened to my orders, my mandate. Mm -hmm. Here's what's going to happen. And the message was very dire. It's repetition of the third secret in brief form. So, uh, it wasn't the will of God. The will of God has been frustrated. But you see, uh, let me remind you, and, and, uh, and that, uh, the particular man, that the will of God is frustrated continuously. And that doesn't mean it wasn't his will, and his will will not work out finally. So, uh, it's a pity. And eventually, eventually the secret will be revealed, and will work its way out. But this time, painfully. Painfully. All right. Well, all right. Uh, what I'm going to do is read just the preamble to this, and see if uh, the Good Father finds... Uh, identification with this. Uh, it says, Do not worry, dear child. It is I, the mother of God, speaking to you and asking you to proclaim in my name the following message to the whole world. In doing so, you will meet strong opposition. Be firm in your faith, however, and you will triumph over all opposition. Listen and remember well what, am I, what I am about to tell you. Men must become converted. They must implore pardon for the sins that they have committed and for those they will commit again in the future. You have requested a sign by which all men would understand my utterances given to humanity through you. This miracle you have seen at this very moment. It was the great miracle of the sun. All have seen it, believers and unbelievers, peasants, townsmen, scholars, and journalists, laymen and priests. And now proclaim in my name. And what follows is the secret. Does that, Father, sound familiar? There is no preamble. Well, I'm not sure preamble was the right... Yeah, oh, there is no introductory um, uh, statement in the actual secret, the text, actual text of the secret itself. So you don't recognize what I just read? Not as a part of that... One sheet of paper. No, but it may well be that what follows... Well, then let me give you just a little bit of what follows. A great punishment will come over the entire human race. Not yet today, nor tomorrow, 
But in the second half of the 20th century, what I have already made known at La Salette, La Salette yeah. by the children Melanie and Maximin, I believe it is, I repeat to you, humanity has not changed as God requested it to. It has sinned and trampled underfoot the gift it had received. There is no order anywhere. Satan rules, even in the highest positions, and determines the direction of things. He will succeed in worming his way even unto the highest summits of the church. He will succeed in seducing the minds of great scholars who will invent armaments with which half of humanity can be destroyed in seconds. He will have the mighty among the peoples under his sway and will induce them to turn out mass production of arms. If humanity does not amend itself, I will be forced to let go the arm of my son. If the mighty of the earth and of the church do not oppose this, I myself will do it, and I will ask God, my Father, to allow to come over men the punishment of his justice. It will then be that God will punish men more harshly than he did with the flood, and the mighty and the powerful shall perish along with the humble and weak. And it goes on from there. Yeah. The, uh, no, it's not the text. Uh, it, it, it's not specific enough. The text is very dry and specific. And, um, but all, all, all that is there is very accurate as regards the general Fatima interpretation of modern history. But it's not the text of the third secret uh, that I know. All right, here we go. Um, just a couple of things I want to quickly read. One from a friend in Australia, Father, yes. uh, who says, I had a Jesuit priest tell me more of the third secret of Fatima years ago in Perth. Uh, he said, among other things, the last pope would be under control of Satan. Pope John fainted, thinking it might be him. We were interrupted before I could hear the rest. Um, any comment on that? Yes. Uh, it sounds as if they were reading or um, being told the, the text of the third secret. Oh, my. It sounds like it, but it's sufficiently vague to make one hesitate. Yes. It sounds like it. All right, and then just this one as well. This is from uh, Dan in um, Davenport, Iowa. It says, I was told by an old Catholic priest while I was stationed in Asia in the late 70s mm -hmm. that in the last days, nature will attack everything we have and know and that all food will be gone. Starving will be so widespread that families will eat other members of their families. My God, just to stay alive. This madness will be so widespread, there will be no place that will be safe and no place to hide until all the peoples uh, who do not believe in God are dead. Then life can start anew. No, that's not... That's not part of it. It's not part of it. But that first one... Yes, it is. And there's a certain element in the second one, which is near the truth. Okay. Um, and I'm sorry to be pushing on this. I'm no, just no, 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 don't be feedback. sorry at all. It's, uh, I wish to God you hadn't got to push. <laughs> you know? Okay. West of the Rockies, you're on the air with Father Malachi Martin. Good morning. Hi, good morning. This is Joseph from Hawaii. Yes, sir. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Art. I have a question, Father. I'm a little confused. Um, when you say uh, you have no authority to um, reveal the secret, Yes. Um, wasn't the secret uh, revealed uh, to the nun and then on to a pope, and then wasn't it was supposed to be revealed to the public at first, and yes, now it's it being suppressed it's by the church? It's, it's, yes. It was supposed to be revealed to the public in, in general. Isn't yes. that the authority from the higher entity? No, no, that doesn't give me authority. Okay, I'm just a little confused. It seems like the, um, I'm not clear on the story, but... What he's uh, saying, I think, Father, is that if God's original wish was for it to be revealed then, yes. and it was not, yes. then is not the authority present now as it was then? 
Well, exactly. For it to be revealed, is that correct? Right? I, I, I see his arguments. It's very forcible arguments, and many people would agree with him. And with all due respect, Father, if if you don't reveal the secret, and uh, if the secret is held, wouldn't the members of the Catholic Church be perpetuating the suppression of the secret? Of the truth, yes, of course. Yes, of course they are. So uh, therefore, it they, should be told. But I, in the Catholic Church, we we work through the hierarchy, beginning with the Pope and the bishops. And I cannot uh, I, I take to myself the authority to overrule them. Um, I think they should be overruled, but I haven't got the authority to do that. I wish I had, Joseph. I wish I had. But I haven't. I haven't got even the authority to authorize exorcisms unless, uh, unless I have from a bishop. Mm -hmm. In this case, the Bishop of, of Rome. Um, All right. I understand that answer. Authority is a very, very fixed thing. Because I have no other guide on this face of this earth except the voice of the Roman teaching, the Magisterium Romanum, as we call it. Um, Wild Card Line, you're on the air with Father Malachi Martin. Good morning. Uh, good morning, gentlemen. This is Barbara in Tulsa. A Tulsa, Oklahoma? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Um, I had a uh, question for Father Malachi, a quick one about Fatima, and then I'd like to relate something that happened here in the house that was kind yes. of frightening, and I wanted his opinion. Sure. Yes. Um, on uh, Fatima, Father Malachi, can you tell us if our country, the United States, is mentioned specifically in the secret? Uh, no, it's not mentioned specifically, but something very relevant to the States is mentioned. I see. Hello. Hello? Yes, that's oh, I'm you. Sorry. Um, I'm calling from Red Bluff, California. Okay. Yes, and I heard the father um, refer a previous caller to literature by the Blue Army. Yes. I was wondering if he is aware that the Blue Army was on a lecture circuit in the mid-70s revealing the third secret of Fatima. And if uh, he is aware of that, if that is accurate... Yes, uh, Father Gruner and his, company, his organization never revealed the actual text, the actual text. That I would... attended a lecture in the <clears throat> mid-70s, and I remember, I don't remember it all, unfortunately. I think most of it was so frightening, I just actually um, couldn't um, comprehend it. The only two things I remember that he said, it, it referred to a lot of civil unrest, and that children would be disobedient to their parents, yes. and um, they would be tattooing their bodies and piercing their bodies, and uh, let's see, um, children would be killing children. Yes. And those are the only two things that I seem to, to recall. Remember. But, uh, yeah. Is it's that... Not, you know, it's not, the, it's not the actual content of the letter. We have children killing children, unfortunately. Yes. <clears throat> but no, that's not that's not the that's not the sensational part of the of the third secret, as far as I remember, ma'am. All right. Um, east of the Rockies. Uh, good morning. You're on the air with Father Malachi Martin. Where are you, please? Yes, I'm from Kansas City. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, Father Martin. It's a great pleasure to to hear you. To, you know, talk. Thank you very much for saying that. And uh, my question, and maybe I have a comment afterwards, is that could you see the Pope at some time or another, at some at one point, giving up the secret of uh, the this third? Pope? No. No. Hmm. No. Okay. Uh, my comment is, Art, is that... Uh, if what I've been hearing on the rest of your programs yes. with with the major and, and Scanlon and, and the rest of it, <laughs> yes. if that's leading up to what uh, the uh, third to the third secret, yes. And the third secret, what you read, according to uh, Father Martin, yes, is sort of a mild version of the yes. what it says. Yes, I don't really don't think I want to hear what the what the third secret is. <laughs> well, it's uh, very understandable, sir. Very understandable. It has not added to the sum of my happiness to have read it. Um, would you say that in a lot of ways, Father, that um, the world is better off not knowing? I mean, that, that almost has to be 
what the popes have decided, that it, the world is better off not knowing. Yes, the, that's what the popes have decided. Uh, against that stands the order, which apparently the Queen of Heaven, as Catholic called her, gave to the Pope, through the children, publish it. Ah, uh, yes. That's the difficulty. That's the only difficulty I have. And it's a, it's a big one. Um, yep. West of the Rockies, you're on the air with Father Malachi Martin. Hi. Hi. Hi, where are you? Um, I'm Lenore in San Diego. San Diego, uh -huh. okay. And um, my question, Father Martin, yes. is um, Our Lady of Medjugorje, yes. in one of her yes. um, sayings to the children, was that if we return to God yes. and um, change our lives to reflect yes. that return to God yes. and pray enough, yes. perhaps God would not send the comet. And I'm wondering if the comet has anything to do with the third secret. No, ma'am. The okay. comet is not mentioned, and the the difficulties, or as they call them, the chastisements, the punishments mentioned in the third secret, uh, are not those caused by a comet impacting on the earth. Do you know of anything else? The only time I've ever heard anything about a comet was in that one statement she said to the children several years ago. Yeah, the, I, I have a difficulty about Medjugorje. I'm, since it has not been sanctioned by the church, by church authority, I, 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 yes, I can't I rely upon it. I can't rely upon it. It hasn't us. been denied by the church either. And, and no, it hasn't. It I've hasn't. Had, You're quite right. I've had major spiritual, joyful, deeply gratitudinal I know, and feelings. And, and, um, and millions have also. Yeah. Millions have also. The unfortunate thing is that uh, the church has not approved of it yet, and yes. I'm afraid to trust myself, you know. Oh, I understand. Uh, but that's... My experience is, is very deeply involved, though. I, oh, I absolutely believe. All right. Thank uh, you. Thank you very much, and take thank care. You. Yeah, um, another thing that bothers me, and it's bothered me all along about this uh, third secret, um, is, the, is the child still alive, the one who became a nun? Yes, she is. She's 89. She lives in uh, Coimbra. My God. Wow. My God. Has she ever said how she feels about the church not publishing the no, first Oh, she secret? keeps very quiet for the simple reason that she's been muzzled by the Vatican. Mm-hmm. Well, the thing that bothers me about this is uh, if the church is going against what God has told them he wants them to do, yeah, in other words, what your people are out here and they see this. How do they expect us to keep following them in absolute Bonnie, faith? Bonnie, what I want to say to you is it's not the church, it's the church men. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. They are being unfaithful to their vocation. Yeah, but it right. seems like it's been so many. I, you're telling Gus, whoever Gus was. I know that that's our difficulty. That's what uh, in the previous, in the last three or four hours, Art and I were discussing and. I summarized it all by saying we are in apostasy mm -hmm. to a large degree. And, and the last thing I wanted to ask you, is there anything that we can do as individuals other than praying to avert what is coming in that third secret? We can't avert it now. It, 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 it is coming. When is something else? It is coming for sure. Mm -hmm. We can mitigate it. We can mitigate it slightly, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Is, we, ca we can't avert it. Is the only Too thing late. we can do is pray? Pray, go to communion, say a rosary, cultivate the saints, stay in the state of grace, mm -hmm. do good, visit the sick, visit those in prison, do corporal works of mercy. Mm -hmm. In other words, Bonnie, we know what to do exactly if we want to do it. Like, yeah, yeah. But it's not going to be an easy time. No. No, it doesn't seem like we're in very easy times now anyway. No. Uh, yeah. Bonnie, thank you. Thank you, Art. Bye-bye. Right, take care. Um, Father, is there any circumstance under which you can imagine that you would feel free to reveal the secret? Yes. Yes. If there was a total collapse at the center. 
And you anticipate that, don't you? I anticipate that as a possibility, Art. Mm -hmm. I can't, you know, I, I can't predict, but I anticipate it as a possibility. Certainly, yes. I do. Father Martin, as always, it has been tremendous. 